this is a very quick video on how to upload your 3D letters in Design Space. So as you can see, I'm on the main page for Design Space, Cricut Design Space. I will now go and upload an image. I will go to Browse, and I will choose, for the sake of this video, letter A. Open. All files are SVGs, so there's really no um, editing to do. You will highlight the letter that you want to do. You will add it to your canvas. And once it pops onto your canvas, you will see that everything is grouped together. The file pops up um, and the letter is approximately two and a half inches wide by two inches high. But you can adjust as long as everything is locked together, you can scale your letters to whatever size you want, but they must be locked together. That way all the side pieces will stay proportionate to the bottom and the top. So for the sake of the video, I will make them about four inches. As you can see, this is four inches. I'm not going according to these sizes here. I am looking over here and from here to here is four inches. Once I've gotten it to the size I want, I will go over here to the top right hand corner and ungroup everything. Now you will see that they all move on their own. So the two A's are identical. Um, other letters you will see that one is backwards and one is forwards because one is the top and one is the base. So let me just move this over. These are the side panels to the letters. As you can see right now, the lines are not attached. These would be your score lines. So let me just put it back where it belongs. In order to turn these lines into score lines, because as you can see, they're solid and the machine will cut them out. What you will do is you will highlight and then you will go to where it says basic cut and you will change those to score lines. Now you can see how different they are. This is a solid line. This is a score line. I'll do it again here. These lines are solid. I will go to the top left, hit score. My lines will now be scored by the machine. All these other solid lines will remain as cut lines and the machine will cut all the exterior of this piece and then it will score all the lines in the middle. Now they are not attached. So what you will have to do let me just make sure that they're centered. You have to highlight them and attach. Now you will see that it's one piece. Let me do it again for this one. I want to make sure that the score lines stay on my piece. So I will highlight both of them and I will attach. You will see that two, two sides here have highlighted attach the pieces and now they are one piece again a third time highlight that go to here click score once it's been scored highlight both of them click attached again highlight that basic change that to score highlight them both and you will see here, they're both are highlighted. I will attach them. Now all my pieces are ready to be sent to the machine. So I will go to make it. The letters will mostly fit on a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. I use anywhere from 65 pound up to 110 pound. Depends on how big my letters will be. On the side here, if you don't have 12 by 12 paper, you can adjust it. For example, if you have eight and a, eight and a half by five, by eight and a half by 11 cardstock paper, you can just change it and then it will be put onto two separate pieces. So as you can see, it says score and it says basic cut. And that's basically it. And there you go, you'll see all the pieces. And that's it. That's how you upload your files in the sign space. 
Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.